everyone, and welcome back to the MFT YouTube channel. It's Carolyn here, and I'm thrilled to share a process video that features this month's Treat Bag Topper Kit. Since I had a little hand in designing the Treat Bag Topper die, I thought it'd be fun to get you all as excited about this kit as I am, and to show you how incredibly versatile it is. Today's project has an Easter theme, since that's the next upcoming holiday, but I'll share several other ideas and options for this Treat Bag Topper at the end of the video. Before we get started on our project, I thought I'd share with you what the Treat Bag Topper Kit includes. Of course, you get the Treat Bag Topper Dynamics, 10 each of three different types of bags for a total of 30 bags to get you started, and it also includes an awesome selection of 10 shades of cardstock. And the mid-month, free with $60 purchase, is the Gifty Greetings Dynamics, two separate dies that are perfect for all your gift tag creating needs. One of the best things about the Treat Bag Topper Dynamics is that it's an all-in-one pass die, which is great when you're mass producing. Just put it through your die cutting machine and you'll end up with the pre-scored lines to fold it in half, the awesome stitch detail around the tag corner shape, and a built-in handle. The other awesome thing about this die is that you can use the stamps and dies and other fun goodies that you already have in your stash to design and decorate any type of treat or gift bag that your imagination can think of. Today I'm pairing the kit with the Cottontail Cutie Dynamics. I die cut the head, snout, and tail from some smooth white cardstock, the inside of her ears from the Tiny Hearts 6x6 paper pack, her mouth from some cement gray cardstock, and another nose for dimension from some tickle pink cardstock. I created her feet by die cutting the smallest oval from the Oval Stack Set 2 Dynamics and the pads of his feet from the same Tiny Hearts 6x6 paper pack using the smallest circle stack set 2 dynamics and a circle die from the Birds of a Feather dynamics. All of the MFT products that I'm using today are listed below in the description of the video or on the MFT design block. I adhered her snout to the head with a foam square and then I adhered her mouth and ears with some liquid adhesive. Then I'm adhering a pink nose on top of the gray one with a foam square for dimension. I'm adhering the pads of the bunny's feet with some liquid adhesive. And yes, I'm aware that she has big feet. But come on, people, we're not really talking about reality here, are we? In this particular case, big feet is an attractive feature, don't you think? I die cut some flowers and leaves from some summer splash, orange zest, wild wisteria, and limelight cardstock using some of the smaller dies from the Stitch Flowers Dynamics. I'm adhering them to the bunny's head with some liquid adhesive and foam squares for a beautiful spring crown on her head. I had some self-adhesive stickers in my stash that I knew would be perfect for this project. I selected a set of eyelashes that fit the scale of the bunny's head and I peeled them off and stuck them to her face with my tweezers. I thought the flowers needed some centers, so I adhered some enamel dots off camera. And then, for some final detail on her face, I gave her some rosy cheeks by lightly blending some tickled pink dye ink with a blending stick. You can see that I've tapped off some of the ink on my grid pad first before applying it to her face. Just a little dab will do ya. Now we can start assembling our treat bag topper. I'm folding the die cut in half on the provided score lines, and I'll perfect the creases with my Teflon bone folder. And then I'll adhere the bunny's head to the front of the topper die cut with some foam squares. My sweet and incredibly talented friend Terry from Fresh Cut Flowers made me some adorable mini cookies for this project, and I've inserted them into one of the gusseted bags that come with the kit. I also added some bright green shred to look like grass. Are those not the cutest stinking cookies you've ever seen? I folded the top of the cellophane bag and trimmed off the excess. I also added two staples on the left and right sides of the bag to keep the crease stable while I attach the topper. I'm placing the topper over the crease of the cellophane bag and I'll adhere the back flap of the topper to the bag using two more mini staples on each side. You'll note that I flip my stapler so that the sharp ends of the staples will be hidden on the inside of the topper. I adhere some quarter inch double sided tape to the back of both flaps of the topper and I'll pull the release tape off and secure them to the bag. All of these steps should ensure that the contents of your treat bag won't fall out. And I'm sorry that I got the next step a little out of frame, but I'm adhering the bunny feet to the bottom portion of the bag with foam squares. Now she's really starting to look cute. 
but I have one final detail that I want to add to finish her off. I'm adhering her tail to the back of the bag with another foam square. Oh my gosh, I love how this turned out. I also wanted to show you the other treat bag toppers that I made to give you some ideas as to how this kit can be used. My first example is a party favor that I made for my grandson's birthday. He's obsessed with Pokemon and loved the fun gifts inside. You could easily mass produce these as party favors for a birthday party. My next example is a get well bag that I filled with some goodies to help make the recipient feel better. Who wouldn't feel better after receiving a thoughtful gift like this? I thought this next example would be fun for a shark themed birthday party or even an old fashioned movie night where you show the original Jaws movie. Shark week anyone? And if you have students in your life, you know how important it is to show your kids teachers how much you appreciate them. I found this book at Paper Source, and each page contains a fill in the blank statement about how your student appreciates their teacher. Every teacher's a superhero in my book. And I've got one more Easter project because chocolate. Honestly, these are only a few of the examples that you could make with this kit. Its versatility knows no bounds. Let your imagination run wild. I also want to mention that most of the goodies that I included in my treat bags came from the dollar spot at Target or the dollar store. Those places are treasure troves of amazing stuff to give. And no one has to know that you only spend a dollar on them. It's a thought that counts, right? Thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and that you're inspired to make some treat bag toppers of your own. Be sure and subscribe to the MFT YouTube channel for more great content, and I'll see you next time.